Let's finish our talk about depreciation with a little discussion about relevance versus reliability. So there's a big conflict between relevance and reliability when it comes to depreciation. On the one hand, depreciation is very relevant. What we need is to figure out the expense or amount used of every non-current asset each period in order to generate revenue. And to do that, we're well, basically we're going to be able to calculate a more accurate profit figure. Having a good profit or accurate profit figure, that means we can make better decisions. But that conflicts with depreciation because, uh, sorry, reliability, because depreciation is very unreliable. And the reason why is it makes a couple of guesses. And the guesses that we make when calculating depreciation were two. One, what's the residual value? How much do we think we sell it for? Well, that's just a person's opinion. And second of all, how long are we going to be able to use the asset for? Again, that's another guess. We've got no idea whether the residual value or useful life are going to be correct. And there's actually no source document to back that up. So on the one hand, while depreciation is very, very unreliable, well, we go, why do we use it then? We use it because it's very, very relevant. It helps us figure out the most accurate profit figure we can. And if we've got the best profit figure, we've got uh, a better ability in order to make decisions.